we are given the number of rows and columns of a matrix and also a random starting cell indices inside the matrix. From this particular cell, we need to traverse through the matrix in a spiral order till we visit all the cells in the matrix and at last we need to return an array of cell indices we have visited in the same order. An important thing to note here is that we can even go out of the matrix. Before we move on to the solution, it would be better if we watch these previous videos for a better understanding. First, let's take an example and observe how the pattern of spiral is working. Let's say we are given the number of rows 3 and number of columns 4. So we will have a matrix containing 3 into 4 equal to 12 cells. Let's say we are given the starting cell indices 1, 2. For simplicity, we can rename this R start and C start to I and J respectively. Now from this particular cell, we need to traverse in spiral order. If we look at it closely, we can observe that there is a repeating pattern in the spiral. From the starting cell, the spiral visited one cell, then it took a right turn. Then again it visited one cell and then again it took a right turn. Then it visited two cells and then took a right turn. Then again it visited two cells and took a right turn. Then it visited three cells and took a right turn. Then again it visited three cells and took a right turn. Then it visited four cells and took a right turn. And then again it visited four cells and took a right turn. Here we can observe that twice after visiting some number of cells and changing the direction, the number of cells visited in the next round is getting incremented by 1. So all we have to do is simulate this particular behavior from the given starting cell. Now let's call the solution. Using the given number of rows and columns, we will create a matrix. Since we need only the indices we are visiting in the final result, we can set all the elements to none. For simplicity, we can refer to the starting indices R start and C start as I and J respectively. We will be storing the result in this array and at last we will be returning it. Since we are going to start the traversal with the given starting cell, we can include that cell in the result array initially. We know that the traversal starts towards the right direction. So we can set the direction indices initially to 0 and 1 respectively. As we observed, the pattern starts with visiting one cell and then after doing it twice, it increments the number of cells visited in the next round. We can store these initial values to these variables. Using an infinite while loop, we can loop through the matrix. We will be breaking the loop once we have stored all the visited cells of the matrix in the result array. To move to the next cell, we will add the direction indices to the cell indices i and j respectively. Now since the spiral path can even go out of the matrix, we must make sure to add the indices to the result array only if the indices i and j are inside the matrix. During each iteration, we will decrement the number of cell visited. Once it becomes zero, it's time to take a right turn. So we will update the direction indices. Also, we need to check whether for the current cell visit number, we have done it twice or not. If we have done it twice, the twice counter will be zero. In that case, we will reset the twice counter to 2 and we will increment the number of cell visits to the next round. And if we haven't done the current round twice, we will reset the number of cell visits, which is equal to the number in the next round minus 1. Let's try running the program. It's working. See you in the next video.